Hi, welcome to Simply Maker channel. Today I will not make anything. But I just like to show you this tool that I just ran into. I have to tell you that, I'm really impressed with it after using it for a couple of days. So I think it's a good idea to make a short review of this desoldering tool. After working with the Makita 18 volt soldering station in my previous video, it needs to remove the wire connector terminals. I found out that, it's quite time consuming and needs some skill to remove parts from the PCB without making any damage to the removed part in the PCB itself. Especially if you need to reuse the part. Anyway, I accidentally ran into this. The Yihua 929DV. I got it on sale for around $10, so I decided to try it out. After the first try, I found that the result is a lot better than I expected. I never remove parts from PCB this easily. For its price, I think it's really useful for those who started with electronics. The package comes with a user manual, a desoldering iron, a cleaner pin, and one extra nozzle. The two nozzles are different in diameter for use with different pin sizes. The big nozzle, that came with the iron, is 1.2 mm, and the small one is 1 mm. The build quality of the handle is quite impressive for the price. It is made with smooth and glossy ABS. There are other cheaper desoldering iron tools in the market. But I choose this one because it's the only cheap model that has a removable tin chamber. The tin chamber is easy to remove in case you need to clean it. To start using it, you need to heat it up for at least 3 minutes. Plug it into an outlet, the LED light will turn on. This means it begins heating up. Depress the plunger until it locks in place. Then point the tip to the pin you need to remove. Rolling the tip a bit to let the tin around the pin melt simultaneously. Press the button at the handle to activate the pump. Repeat the process for each pin of the component you need to remove. With just a few pops, you can easily pull the part out. It's really time saving, and you can get a professional result. Inside the desoldering iron, there are only AC wires that run through a small PCB. The PCB has a resistor for controlling the LED. Then the wires go directly to the heater element. I'm quite curious whether it has any problems, if I keep plugging it in for a long period of time. Some cheap solder iron can overheat and burn if it turns on for too long. To make sure I like to do some tests. The only instrument I have, that can measure the temperature at this high is my multimeter. Of course, it is not an instrument to measure something like this. You can not expect an accurate result. But I just like to know that the temperature does not keep rising to a level that is not safe. I start by measuring the T12 soldering iron tip. And set the temperature to 300 Celsius. I let it heat up for a couple of minutes. The measured temperature is stable at around 265 degrees. Now I know the estimated error that might happen with the measurement. Now let's test the desoldering tools. I measure the temperature around the heater element, which should be the hottest area. After 3 minutes, the reading temperature is around 230 degrees and still rising. The temperature reaches 300 degrees in about 10 minutes. And after 15 minutes, the temperature still stays stable at around 300 degrees. Considering the temperature of the T12 station, I estimate that the temperature of the desoldering iron should be around 340 to 350 degrees, which is the standard temperature for soldering. I will wait for another 5 minutes to see if the temperature is still not rising. I think it will be safe. After 20 minutes the temperature is still stable. The reading temperature never exceeded 310 degrees. From the testing, I'm quite sure that the desoldering iron is safe to use. I think the heater element is well designed to keep the heat at a working temperature. Even though it has no circuit to control the temperature. But to be safe, I recommend not plugging it in for more than 20 minutes. One thing that I don't like about this iron is, it has no switch or temperature control. 
It will be nice if it has more controlling features, or at least some indicator to let the user know whether it reaches working temperature. Anyway, what you can expect from the ten dollars tool, because it has no built-in switch. At first, I'm thinking about adding an inline AC switch, but I realize that is not a good idea to add some weight to the power line. That might be an obstacle while you are using it. I recommended to using it with an outlet that has a separate switch. It will be much more convenient. With the outlet switch, you can turn it off without unplugging it. So that's it. I think this desoldering iron is really, really great for its price. It's time savings tool. I really recommend it. It's worth every penny. I already included the AliExpress link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, which means I will get a small amount of commission if you make a purchase with the link. This will help to support this channel. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to add them in the comment. And if you found this video helpful, please consider giving me a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.